Okay, this is a quick video on head and shoulders patterns, both head and shoulders and reverse head and shoulders. Um, one of the members had asked me about this. This is a powerful pattern, very, very powerful pattern. And let me see this. The, and it's a bearish pattern. Um, we see here, so what happens is you get you you get what we call a, the left shoulder. You don't know this is a left shoulder. You just know that this is the stock's in an uptrending channel, pull, pops up, pulls back, held, holds support, pops again, now makes a higher high, then pulls back, held, holds support again. So this develops your neckline. This is your support line. And then it pops, and then it goes back up. But this time, the right. this is, gives you the right shoulder. And this is lower than the head. The left shoulder and the right shoulder need both to be below the head of, the, of this pattern. And then, um, and then it rolls over. If it fails at the neckline, that's the, that's the breakdown. That's very bearish in the way it goes. Um, and what you'll quite often see, if this one doesn't have the volume on it, but you'll see that there's a strong volume in here, pulls back on weaker volume, bigger volume for the pop to the top, pulls back on lower volume. Then this try here on the right shoulder, uh, the volume generally is way, is much lower than the previous two the left shoulder and the head. That really is a clear indication. Now one of the things you have to be careful about though, is that it's not a wedge pattern. You need, it needs to break the neckline to break down. That's your, that's the key for it. Now, in this case, it might be, you know, I mean, that's a huge move from 75 to 45 for a breakdown, but it did go another 20. But this is, so this is the, that's the head and shoulders pattern. The reverse head and shoulders pattern, as you might expect, is the reverse. Um, here's your left shoulder. Quite often, this is the case is the same with the, the, the head and shoulders pattern, is you get a big sell-off on on big volume pops back up and then another big sell-off on bigger volume this is your capitulation this gives you your head now you don't know this is the head because you've just got a shoulder head I mean it could pop and go even lower again and you know you've got a five wave pattern down but in this case it pops back up to the resistance level which is one and two here and then it pulls back and makes the right shoulder and pops and when it breaks out through the neckline here that's the buy signal. The volume on the right shoulder generally is much lower than the head and the left shoulder. That's a very good indicator that this is the pattern is developing. When it breaks out through the neckline, again, quite often what you'll get is a pop out through, a pullback, hold support, there's your entry level, and then away it goes. That's, a, uh, that's your uh, reverse head and shoulders. Now, let's have a, a look at a couple of charts that perhaps demonstrates this. Um, for us at the moment, we're more interested in the, the bullish ones. This is Jivo. Here's your left shoulder. Here's your right shoulder. This is your capitulation. You can see big volume. Um, and then here's your, uh, sorry, this is your head pattern. Here's the big volume. This one here is your volume here. You can see that this is quite a bit higher than the pattern in here, which would give you your left shoulder. It's not a well-defined, pardon me, right shoulder. It's not a well-defined right shoulder, but here it is breaking out through the neckline. That's a buy signal. Uh, and it, as it also is, is that the, the 20 is crossing the 50, which makes it even stronger there. Uh, let's see, BNGO, when we were trading today, again, um, the you can see here's your, here's your capitulation, or here's your left shoulder, big volume to the downside, pops, on low volume, pulls back, huge volume. This is actually, a, it makes a, a, a V bottom type pattern, but you can see the volume at this down here at the shoulder or the head is very strong. Here's your right shoulder volume, quite a bit lower than the other, than the other volumes here and here, quite a bit lower. So left shoulder, head, right shoulder, breaks out through the neckline, pops, 20 is about to cross the 50. That's a very strong chart as well for us. Uh, QS, here's another chart. 
Um, this hasn't really broken the headline, uh, the neckline yet, but here's your left shoulder here. Here's your capitulation, your, you know, your bottoming pattern. Here's the big volume. That's your head. Here's your right shoulder. Volume in this case is about the same as the left shoulder, but quite a bit less than the head. And it's not so well defined, but this is your left shoulder, head, right shoulder. If you do it on maybe an hourly chart, it might be uh, more, a bit more pronounced. Here's your left shoulder, here's your head, here's your right shoulder, there's your neckline, just about to break out. QS. And then another one that we were trading, or we've traded in the past, fuel cell. Here's your left shoulder, head. Here's your right shoulder, it's up against the neckline popping out, that's ready to go. So that's the two, the two patterns, head and shoulder, reverse head and shoulders.